On September 9th, a crowd gathered on the west lawn of the U.S. Capitol building to rally against the Iran nuclear deal. For years, the U.S. government and other nations have been in negotiations of an agreement between them and Iran to prevent a nuclear war. The keynote speakers at the rally were Republican presidential candidates Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz. Former Congresswoman Michelle Bachman and other members of Congress also spoke about why they feel the current deal is a bad deal and possibly a repeat of previous bad deals. today and speak for literally thousands of people back home. That's what your presence does. You are sending a message across the world that you are going to stand for sanity and not insanity. That if Barack Obama failed to give every part of the Iranian agreement to this Congress, and the language actually says including side deals, if he failed to do that by July 19th, well, then the sanctions stand. Case closed. We won. Just over 70 years ago, the United States tested the first atomic bomb. Ever since then, we've taken great pains, spent untold sums, and exhausted enormous political leverage to restrict their proliferation. But for the first time in history, this treaty officially sanctions their spread. Thanks to President Obama, thanks to John Kerry, and I'm afraid, if you're not loud enough, thanks to a Republican Congress. Across the U.S. Capitol building, the rally met the supporters of the Iran nuclear deal. Most speakers that spoke against the deal cited the lifting of the embargo against Iran as the major flaw of the deal, while those that support the deal believe that this agreement will prevent a future war with Iran. Well, we are standing here on Capitol Hill in front of the Senate and the House uh, expressing our support to this tremendous effort that our president has put into this deal, the tremendous effort that was put in by major world leaders throughout the world. We are for peace and we pray for peace for our country, the United States of America, for the entire world, for the sake of all humanity, including the Jewish people. Now, get this one. If you are for peace, you're not anti-Semitic. When the pro-Israeli uh, uh, representatives come here lobbying Congress and not only expressing their personal opinion regarding this deal, but intimidating our representatives and calling them anti-Semites. This is ridiculous. Being for peace is Jewish. Being for peace is not anti-Semitic. But I would say on the other side, supporting Israel is supporting death and destruction for humanity and for the Jewish people. What Israel is doing already for decades is causing hatred towards Jewish, Jewish people. Why? Because they do it in the name of all Jews. And they sadly do it in the name of our religion. And they dare to use Jewish religion to justify all what they're doing. All of this is wrong. When Bibi Netanyahu stands up in Congress and speaks in the name of all Jews, truly embarrassing. When this secular person stands up in Congress and reciting verses from Judaism. That's hypocritical and embarrassing. It's embarrassing to our religion, it's dangerous to our people. We stand there and we state clear and loud. The state of Israel does not represent world Jewry and certainly not the Jewish religion. We oppose the existence of the state of Israel based on traditional teachings. According to Jewish, basic Jewish belief, it is forbidden for Jewish people to create a sovereign homeland, and it is forbidden to oppress other people, whether it's the Palestinian people or whoever is involved. We are Jewish, we are for peace, we support peace, we pray for peace for the United States of America, for the world, and for the Jewish people.